Book of Hebrews Chapter 1 God, who spoke to our ancestors in various ways and through diverse means by the prophets, has now, in these last days, spoken to us through His Son, whom He has appointed heir of all things, and through whom He also created the universe. The Son is the radiance of His glory in the exact representation of His nature, sustaining all things by His powerful word. After He had provided purification for sins, He sat down at the right hand of the Majesty in heaven. He became so much superior to the angels as the name He has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my Son, today I have become your Father? Or again, I will be His Father, and He will be my Son. And again, when God brings His firstborn into the world, He says, Let all God's angels worship Him. In speaking of the angels, He says, He makes His angels spirits, and His servants flames of fire. But about the Son, He says, Your throne, O God, will last forever and ever, a scepter of justice will be the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore, God, your God, has set you above your companions by anointing you with the oil of joy. He also says, In the beginning, Lord, you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you remain, they will all wear out like a garment. You will roll them up like a robe, like a garment, they will be changed. But you remain the same, and your years will never end. To which of the angels did God ever say, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet? Are not all angels ministering spirits sent to serve those who will inherit salvation?